Well, I went to the Elsica Heritage Centre um, swap meet uh, this evening, and uh, yep, yeah. <laughs> did all right really, considering um, it, it it was quiet. I think a lot of people were put off by the weather, so there weren't many people there, and a few of the stalls weren't there either. Um, I got. I'm just gonna move over here. Um, I got this one, uh, Lima Class 26 in green. I was after a 26 in green, but um, I paid 24. 24 quid for this and it's also the limited edition one from Harbour and Hobbies uh, number 140 of 550 so um, yeah I'm quite pleased I didn't I didn't know I didn't realize it, it had the certificate until I got it home and got it out of the box so that was a nice surprise um, I was after a class 27 in blue blue and green but I've, I managed to get the blue one I paid 13.50 for that i've not tested them yet um i always sort of test them and then i give them a service um last time i spotted this this one last time i didn't get it because on another store i spotted the class 87 with the large yellow ends at 23 quid and i thought no i've got to get that or was it 22 i can't remember now what i paid for it anyway it was uh, i think it's 22 or 23 quid so i didn't bother getting this one but i spotted it on the stall again this time so i grabbed it uh, this was um i think this was 23 quid for this one at class 50 and also i got the daypole pendolino for 60 quid uh, which wasn't bad um managed it says 65 but i managed to get a fiver off because uh, i literally got went to it went back to it uh, just as they were packing up so um as i say i've not tested yet i wanted a a, a pendolino but the only one i could i could see on ebay were the holmby ones and they were a lot lot dearer than this so i thought well um 60 quid i thought yep that'll do um so yeah so i haven't tested anything yet i didn't get any any coaching stock this time because there, there wasn't really much as i was saying it, it was quiet this time but i think a lot of it's you know the weather uh put people off but anyway i'm gonna give them a, a little little uh little test run and then i'll give them a clean and all that lot and then i'll uh little uh, quick service and then i'll uh put them back on and then try them again not done anything to it yet i've just put it literally got it out the out the cellophane wrapper put it on the track but um looking at the wheels on it they're a bit grubby it needs what does it need needs yeah the wheels are a bit uh, bit filthy um i think it needs a buffer at one end but i've got i've got uh, buffers and things anyway so um so yeah i'm going to give that a clean um service it and then we'll uh, see see how it uh, see how it goes Right, um, I managed to get rid of the horrible, there was a horrible scuff mark where it, where it had, a, had a sort of a price sticker or something put on it. Uh, I managed to, get, managed to get rid of that as well, I managed to get that off it. Um, I stripped it down, give it a clean and I've just got to switch over now and uh, that's not too bad at all. One's quite nice. All, all I've literally done was took the took all the gears off, give them a bit of a clean, and then just uh, a dab of oil on them. But once it's been been run a little bit, they'll they'll all uh, mesh in. All right, it'd be it'd be nice. So yeah, I'm well but pleased with uh, that one. Right, class twenty six. It's literally straight out of the box. I've not done anything to it. I've put it straight on the track, and let's see how it runs. That's not bad, is it? Right, I've not done anything yet. I've not not give it a clean or anything. It's literally as of just as it's just come um, straight out of the uh, straight out of the box. Here we go. Um, well, I've just had it clean and service and that, and I've got a bad turn of speed on actually. So yeah, that's that one done. Uh, so I'm going to do the class 50 next. Right, Lima class 50, 50034. This is it, straight out of the box. And a bit. A bit of a, it's a bit. Uh, I think it needs a clean. It's uh, very, very gunked up. So anyway, I'm going to strip it down, give it a clean, 
and then we'll put it back on and see how it goes. Well, I found out actually when I was uh, servicing it, it's it's actually had um, extra pickups fitted on the trailing bogey, so it's uh, it's picking up on sort of uh, six wheels instead of two. But, uh, yeah, it's not a bad little uh, runner. Had a little bit of a service. But, uh, yeah. That whistling noise is the um, pickups on the trailing bogey, I think. That's what that is. Yeah, well pleased with that. Yeah. Well, please with that. Uh, so yeah, that's another class fifty. To, to my, I've now got four class fifties now. I wanted a network southeast one, and uh, I've seen them on eBay, but they me going for stupid money. But as I say, I saw this one at the swap meet, the last one I went to. Um, but um, the um, class eighty seven with the large yellow ends kind of uh, grabbed me, and I thought I'm going to get that. Um, I thought I, I, I'll be able to pick up another one. But lucky enough, the one that I looked at last time, which was this one. It was still on that stall, so I thought brilliant. So that's okay. So anyway, that's that one. I'm now going to give the uh, Pendolino uh, a try. See how that goes. Can't use the uh, the light on this now because the battery's going, getting a bit low on my thing. But anyway, uh, my Pendolino, <laughs> it's it's now running properly. Um, it was running a bit sort of rough. It's absolutely running terrible. So I took it apart, had a look. Um, power laden laden power bogey was loose. Um, so I've sorted that out, I've um, put, put a bigger screw in the top of it and it wasn't picking up properly and I found out why because some of the wires had come off the pickups so I spent, a, um, well it's now the day after, um, I spent an hour this evening re-soldering all the, all the pickups and um, now it's running pretty nice now, it runs lovely now I have to excuse the light because I haven't got the light on the thing at the moment because my battery's gone flat but yeah, it runs beautiful. But yeah, um, yeah, so I've got, got it running nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's running good. So what I'm, I'm going to put it, because it's, oh, it's a pain to couple up, um, so my little my my little foreign push pull unit's going to come out because that, that that's easy to put on the rails that um, so the pendolino is going to go in that I think the pendolino will fit in that siding hope it does anyway if if not it can it can go in this this siding at the back of here because that's only a spare siding so I'm going to see if it will fit anyway so yeah that's my little uh, my little swap meet uh, trip uh, for December uh, I'm, I'm thinking of going to the one at the race course at the end of the month but I'm not too sure yet or I might just save me pennies and go. Uh, to the Elsica one uh, next year. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, happy modelling, and uh, if I don't do a video before, have a Merry Christmas and all the best for the new year.